little explorers. My name is Miss Rachel, the branch manager of the Elgin and Bethune branches of the Kershaw County Library. I hope that you've been enjoying Dinovember as much as I have, except for all the little shenanigans that our dinosaurs have been getting into. So today I'm going to share two stories with you, as well as when we get done with that, I'm going to show you how to make your own little dinosaur. So the first story I'd like to read today is Kitties on Dinosaurs by Michael Slack. He has a dedication in the front. To my darling Lily, you're my inspiration and my favorite collaborator. I'm lucky to be your dad. Well, kitties, you are officially expert climbers. You've climbed everything there is to climb. Your cat tree, check. A real tree, check. An ancient litter box in the trees, check. Now what? The dinosaurs on Dinosaur Island? Kitties, that's bonkers. You are cuddly, you are cute. They are humongous. They will eat you alive. You do not want to climb those dinosaurs. Too late. You are determined to climb the dinosaurs. Don't do it, kitties. They look hungry. Rawr. spotted you. Now you're in trouble. Good idea. Get in your litter mobile and sail back to Kitty Island. Fast. Um, what are you doing in there, kitties? You're making a backup plan? Don't listen to me. Lasso Pro. Plan B. Booted buckaroos. <laughs> Look at those little cowboy kitties. Oh, they lassoed his nose. Where's that his arm? Where's that his tail? Close call, furballs. You barely escaped. Let me guess. Plan C? <laughs> Plan C. Catmouflage. <laughs> Don't they just look like little dinosaurs too? Maybe? Well, kitties, you did your best. You tried hard, but wait, you have a plan D? No one ever has a plan D. <laughs> plan D, dino drop. Tough cookies, kitty. Your plans didn't work. Time to accept defeat. <laughs> oh, parachute. I'm going to miss you all. Oh, 
Wow, I did not see this coming. Rawr, rawr. Even prehistoric grouch lizards can't resist your cuddly cuteness. You did it, kitties. Your plan D actually worked. I was wrong. I was 100% certain you would be eaten alive. Now you've really climbed everything there is to climb. Dinosaurs on Dinosaur Island. Check. <laughs> Um, scratch that. You've climbed the tiny baby dinosaurs on Dinosaur Island whose mommies have been looking for them. Kitties, don't even Think about climbing the Mommysaurus. Oh, oh. Too late. <laughs> rawr, rawr, rawr. Your little dinosaur outfit. Adorable kitties, one mission impossible. Now the next story that I would like to read is Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug by Jonathan Stutzman and illustrated by Jay Black. I am Tiny, that is my name. Also, I am very small especially compared to my family. I do not mind being tiny, but sometimes it makes things tricky. Today is the trickiest. Today I will face the biggest challenge I have ever faced. Today I must learn how to hug. Hello, Pointy. Are you okay? No, today I feel sad. I do not want to play. Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug. How to make a friend feel better. Cake, smiles, hugs, tacos, jokes. I have tiny arms. It is very difficult to hug with tiny arms. Each day I'm growing taller, but my arms are still tiny. Hugging almost seems impossible for a Rex as tiny as me, but I will try anyway. Pointy needs me. Where is my father? I will ask him for advice. Hello, father. Rexes are thinkers, not huggers. Perhaps instead of hugs, mathematics might be the answer to your problem? Pointy does not like math. Math will only make Pointy feel worse. Hello, Auntie Junet. I have a problem. I must learn how to hug, but my arms are too tiny. I have found balance is the key to every problem. Balance and freshly squeezed cucumber juice. That is disgusting. I will ask my mother for help instead. I have fallen and now I am lost. I do not think I will find my mother in there. Hello, mother. It's okay if you can't hug, Tiny. You are good at many other things. You are kind and creative and braver than most. You are tiny, but your heart is big. I cannot hug with my heart, Mother. I must learn to hug with my arms. Hello, sister. Hello, brother. Please help me. Hugging is very difficult. We'd like to help, Tiny. To do the impossible, you must plan and practice. 
Paractus, Paractus, Paractus. Thank you, Trixie and Rory. That is great advice. I will plan my strategy. Cannon, no. Stilts, no. Unicycle, no. A dinosaur crane? Mm -mm. Parachute. Mm. Dig a tunnel? I will get stronger. Sit-ups. Punching back. Jump rope. I will practice very hard. I will practice hugs on everything. A ball, a book, a flower, an ice cream cone. A a cactus? I will not practice on that anymore. Hmm. I am almost ready. I will practice one more time. When I am done, I will find my friend. This tree is very big like a pointy. I will hug it. This is not a tree. I've made a mistake. Please help. From up here, everything looks tiny, like me. I could hug anything I wanted. Now I'm falling. I should not have let go. Now I will. Okay, little explorers, today I'm going to show you a really easy way to make your own dinosaurs from items that you already have at home. So you're just going to need empty toilet paper rolls, a pair of scissors, a pen or a pencil, and then the template which I will be going ahead and putting together a little Dinovember packet that will have this template in it and will be available at the library doors or in limited supplies on the bookmobile. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to cut out these templates, which I have already done. See, that one goes with that one. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you are going to want to flatten your toilet paper roll and put the template and draw it on there. Now my template or my toilet paper roll was actually a little bit wider than the template. So what I did is, oops, wrong sides, is I drew first the one side, then I went over and drew the other side, and then I centered it and drew the rest of it. I had to do that with this one as well. So this one looks a little bit different than that one 
because you've got this little extra headpiece that you're going to need to put on here. So we've got the template. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're now going to go ahead and we're going to cut these out. that little guy and you got that little guy so the next step that we're going to do is we're going to shape these guys this one's a little bit easier so all you're going to do is give him a nice little squeeze and get him round again this is his head and this is his tail and you're just gonna bend it back like that you can either keep it, fold it like that, you can fold it, just curl it. And then with this one, you're not going to go all the way down here like you did on the tail. You just want his little head to bend over. Give him a nice little rounded head like that. Fluff him up a little. Whoop! He'll bend back. Oh, where are we? Got him. Now, for this guy, there's a little bit more folding. So, go ahead and plump him up like that. Fold his tail over as well. Now, the head. I'm going to want to take this piece right here. Do it on this side. You can probably see that better. You just want to bend it forward like that. And then you want to do that on this side. Bend it forward like that. And you get these two little spikies. So the next step is you're going to get this on there. So what I'm going to do. him in half. Okay? It's going to make it easier for the cutting. And I'm going to kind of eyeball where these are going to go. So those go about there, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little bit of a cut. I'd say the other one's probably about there. Another little bit of a cut. And get that little cut longer. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open that little head back up. And you're just going to slot those right in. yourself. I trust Ceratops. Yeah, you might want to need to play with them a little bit to make them look right. All right. So once you finish that, then go ahead and I have some simple paints or some paint pens and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color these on the outside and the inside. And from that, look at these little guys. Now how simple was that? 